Hey Ryan. Yes. Uh, do you have something I can chew on? Cause I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> I got something you can suck on. Oh God, no. Okay, I guess I guess that's better than this game. I'll, I'll put that out there right now. Yeah. So this is another zombie game on the Xbox Live Indie Game Marketplace. Yeah. Um. And see, the thing was, uh, I had no idea, based on the box art or the name of the game. I thought it actually. I originally thought it was like some kind of weird paintball street shoot 'em up. Uh, yeah, the in, indie games marketplace is lacking some paintball games, but I think it's basically safe uh, a safe assumption to make that if you don't know what a game's about, it's either a massage aid or it's got zombies in it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd I'd say that's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're looking at the controls there. Pretty pretty simple. You build your little fortress. And then, uh, then the action begins. You get to fight off zombies. So this looks kind of like maybe a tower defense game mixed with I made a game with zombies in it. Pretty much, yeah. And I, I'd say like it was. I don't know. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Nazi zombies in it. Just like in terms of upgrading weapons and. Uh, oh yeah. Just, uh, I don't know, it just reminded me of that as well for some reason, so... Yeah. I, as, soon, yeah, as soon as I saw the whole fortifying thing, I was just like, ah, oh, this seems like it might be enjoyable to some extent. Oh, don't lie. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I like, I think I'm a bit of an optimist, but as soon as I saw them basically peeing on the bricks, or puking <laughs> on the bricks... <laughs> uh, to... I, I'm noticing that the animation looks maybe a little bit awkward to say the least yeah but you can actually aim up and down the gun i'm i have no freaking reason why you would want to do that <laughs> um it's like but a you can four-dimensional <laughs> shooter yeah new age yeah uh so it looks like you uh you're shooting with the right analog stick is that correct uh yeah you basically flick it a la uh made a zombie made a game with zombies in it mode like similar to that mm -hmm. um but whereas that game seemed to control pretty fluidly this one looks like it controls like i don't know like a bad soapbox racer with like one rusty wheel driven by the retarded kid in my physics class or rain man driven by dude he's an excellent driver <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about that this kmart brand underwear is very restrictive would i be correct if i uh Remarked that the game looks quite repetitive. Um, yes, you would be very correct. It, I, I mean, basically, what you're see, what you've seen in this first few minutes, repeat that. Like, I guess, and I don't know, forever. I, I don't actually know <laughs> because I, I got kicked out of the game. I, I was certainly wasn't gonna buy this and the. The try. Oh, see, there you go. You can aim it's, up and down. Yeah, some great animations there. So you're. Just... I mean, I don't. Unless you're shooting the 50-foot woman, I, I still don't know why <laughs> you would want to aim up. <laughs> what? Give us some commentary. What's going on right now? Um. See, the thing is, the new round doesn't start till you find every zombie, and this guy was so dumb. I'm guessing he got stuck on those rocks when he was trying to get to me, and uh, so I had to go look for him, which was, I Fan guess, fantastic, fantastically yeah. fun. Yeah. Good so here we testing. go. Got some. Uh, There's actually. A pretty, I was surprised at the assortment of, of guns you could get. Um, turrets, various turrets, cluster bomb, plasma rifle, even an airstrike or a chainsaw bike. Yeah, straight it's, out of Dead Rising 2. Yeah, that's uh, see, lots lots of uh, influence has gone into this game. It's great. AKA it's great. lots of other better games that this one completely ripped off. That you actually should pay money to play. Mm -hmm. um, so here we go again. Let's uh, let's build my amazing fortress. Yeah. I think I think I'm gonna go with some shrubbery this time because it seems like it might be more effective than brick walls. You think so? I, it's just I have I, I have a feeling. I've noticed that. Yeah, that's why I I can never get through hedge mazes, man. We need more cowbell, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, it just. And then they cut you off. I couldn't build anymore, so... Mm -hmm. Really, there's... Uh, if uh, anything, that fortress is a death trap right now. 
<laughs> Have you considered uh, just boxing yourself off in like a 4x4 four four square? Or I guess like a 2x2 two two square? I, I, I did uh, think about that. I was I, That's what I was trying to do eventually. Like, you know, enough room to kind of move around. You don't want to feel ca claustrophobic. <laughs> but, um... But it seems no, like... It seems like when you get the zombies all in a line, they kind of go down pretty easily. That's the most effective way, mm -hmm. certainly, and the shotgun is a lot better because, well, oh, it obviously. shoots shoots three cannons instead of one or cannonballs. It's the weapon of choice. Yeah, those are some yeah. large bullets. They're very large. Oh, I guess it shoots four. My mistake. And you're uh, and you're getting a little low on health, man. You only have 82 health left. Um, yeah, I'm kind of careless. But, uh, I'm the only, I think I'm, well, actually, I wouldn't be the only human if I had, uh, three other people to play here. Yeah. I've kind of gotten used to the press A to join on the screen, I didn't even notice <laughs> it anymore. It's a nice it's... touch that they keep that up there, uh, yeah. even if you're definitely just gonna keep playing single player. Yeah, they went out of their way to, uh, not add in the, the more code to remove the, the press A to join, uh. I, I like that. I can't imagine how bad this would look in four-player split-screen. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if you actually... the screen actually splits up or what, that's, uh... Well, that's what I'm assuming, because they've kind of got the press A to join in all four quadrants. Must, I, must be so. Yeah, I, guess, I, I guess it would be unfair of us to judge the game based on that, when we have no proof, but... You know, even even if it doesn't matter, this game's already gone to hell. Yeah. Just, yeah. It was actually really finicky placing those blocks too. That's I noticed. Yeah. I have two doorways. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna roll with the flamethrower because it's while in theory it seemed like it'd be more effective. There's like no feedback. It doesn't feel like I'm shooting anything, uh, but I don't know some kind of gas. Flamethrower is not a typical uh, weapon of choice against zombies, is it? No, because one, zombies are sporadic. They could spread fire to anything. Yeah. And, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily kill them right away, so they could still get a couple swipes in. Yeah. So I've noticed you switch back to your shotgun. Yeah, it's it's much more effective. Mm -hmm. uh, I do I do admire the um, the different uh, zombie. Zombie models. No question. Some big, some small, some fast, some tall. I mean, basically, don't play this game. Uh, yeah, that but, seems to be the consensus. What are we? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this has got to be like a three or four Mel Gibsons. Your call, man. <laughs>